Hello, welcome to another video. This one, um, review, uh, but it's on a series of magazines that are now sadly uh, uh, defunct, um, Military Illustrated Past and Present. This started in uh, the late 80s, I think 87, it was initially bi-monthly. Um, the first, uh, I've got every issue uh, up to about number 50. About this time, the quality to my mind started declining um, quite a bit. Um, but certainly the first 30 issues are, um, are excellent. Massive diverse um, uh, coverage, so from like ancient Egypt right up to um, ultra, ultra, ultra modern uh, at the time period. Um, so you can still get them, you can buy back copies on eBay. Um, the early issues, probably one to 30, sometimes are a little bit expensive. Or you know you can look in. I quite often have a look in um, charity shops, secondhand bookshops. If they sell magazines, it's always worth uh, uh, having a look. They did do, <coughs> pardon me, um, some bound volumes. I did either three or four of the early issues, which you can get on eBay books uh, for normally reasonably well priced. So it's a hardback book um, cover, and I think they normally have five five issues in five to ten issues in. Uh, and they're really good. So we'll uh, go down to the um, desk and have a look. Okay, Military Illustrated Past and Present, the magazine. Um, when this first came out, um, you know, the late 80s, if my memory serves as right, um, it was bi-monthly. Really, really good. I got sort of the, all, all the issues up to about... Um, about number 50. What I found is the style changed quite a bit really after number sort of 30. Uh, and to my view, it, it declined a little bit. Uh, it's defunct now, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, you can buy secondhand copies of the magazine, uh, obviously on eBay. Uh, the do tend, uh, the early ones can be sort of a little bit pricey. Um, uh, I've got, got them, all of the individual magazines. Unfortunately, I can't really show you them because they that's they have already been packed so at the same time they produced these hardback volumes uh i think they did maybe three or four um strangely volume one covers numbers five to ten um volume uh three is the other one i've got that's 17 to 22 um what i liked about them it was a very very diverse subject um uh as an example uh this is, uh, I think this is issue number five, which was from February, March, 1987. Um, you can see from the cover, uh, Bull Run, Ancient Egypt, Great War, uh, Chota Saib, uh military figures, u boat uniforms, and there's uh, really Galani Recon Commandos. Um, when they did it, they picked the absolute top-notch military illustrator. So you can see uh, here the u boat uniforms that paints were done by Kevin Lyles, who is probably my favourite um, military uniform illustrator. Absolutely stonking. Uh, Ron Volstad, another favourite. He did the Sariad Galani. So <clears throat> the the quality of the um, of the informations uh, excellent. You can see the Kevin Lyle uh, plates there. Really, really good. Um, I think online there is a, a sort of list of of what's in each issue, uh, and I mean there really is some quite unusual stuff. Um, Particularly for people who are um, who are sort of into the into the modern stuff, there's a really nice article on uh, uh, three two battalion from the SADF in the, in the 80s, um, written by a guy I think it was in the Rhodesian Light Infantry prior to that, and uh, Ron Volstad's done the plates really really nicely done. Um, uh, this is the you can see the the quality of it they're absolutely um, brilliant. So. As I've said, you, you can get the um, you can get the the individual copies, um, but these are, are really really um, well, worth looking at um, if you can get them. I think I got them. I think one on eBay books. I think I paid about fifteen quid for each volume. Um, but obviously they're they're really nice, and you can see the um, you know the quality of the uh, the quality of the productions um, excellent. And as I've said. Each issue, you get really wide, diverse um, 
uh, subject matter. It's quite, um, it's really, really well done. Uh, I've had a couple of people comment and oh, it's on a modeling magazine, isn't it? There is some modeling in it, but very, very limited. The occasional article, um, basically, that's the, the you know, the top and bottom of it. Oh, that's that article I mentioned about 3-2 Battalion. Um, I mean, at the time, this was done in, I think this will have been about 1987, 88. So very, very um, good information uh, for the time period uh, when the, uh, obviously when the unit was still operational. I can see Volstad's plate there. So really good. If you can get the other place to look, I, I got some recent issues in a, um, a second-hand shop. Uh, if they sell magazines, they're definitely worth having a look at. Um, really good information that is nice to have it's nice to flick through and and you know and go through the various uh go through the various subjects so definitely worth keeping an eye out for so there we are hope i've uh, wet your whistle a little bit in relation to military illustrated past and present uh, as i've said it was uh, initially excellent magazine really really good the, the a number of the the issues that are that they're excellent the coverage is brilliant uh, first rate writers and obviously illustrators, uh, Kevin Lyles and uh, Angus McBride, uh, Ron Volstagg, people like that, really, really good. Um, so that's where we are. Anyhow, uh, once again, um, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, please like it. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, have a think about subscribing. Um, you can do that either from the main channel page or alternatively at the end of the video in the bottom right hand corner, there's a button that has a, an Empress Miniatures 28mm British Infantryman on. Click on that and you're subscribed. Um, hopefully uh, the next videos will be, uh, have a more of a, a war game and aspect to them. Uh, as obviously regulars know, I'm in the middle of a house move um, and we've had to sort of go to uh, book reviews while everything's packed away and we'll move. So that's the state of play. Um, and once again, any questions at all, drop them down and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, thanks very much for watching all the support. We'll see you next time.